Good morning, boys and girls, and how are you this morning? I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. So before we start today's activity, we're going to pray. So you clasp your hands and close your eyes. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we pray. Teach us to love each other every day. Amen. So today is the first day of the school week. Can you tell me what day is today? Hmm. Today is Monday. Let's spell Monday. Capital M-O-N-D-A-Y. Monday. And Monday is the first day of the school's week. Let's say the days of the week. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There are seven days in one week. We are in the month of May. May is the fifth month of the year. Let's spell May. Capital M-A-Y May. Capital M-A-Y May. The children? Yes, so what we're going to do now, we're going to say the pledge. You stand at attention. Place your right hand across your chest. Let's say the pledge. I pledge myself to honor always the flag of Guyana and to be loyal to my country, to be obedient to the laws of Guyana, to love my fellow citizens, and to dedicate my energies towards the happiness and prosperity of Guyana. So boys and girls, we are in a new week, yes, and we have a new topic for this week. So before we talk about our topic, let's talk about our value. Our value for this week is truthfulness. Our value for this week is truthfulness. And that word truthfulness is the, the act of telling the truth at all times. Okay, boys and girls. So this week we are going to be truthful to each other. Right? Let's say the vowels. A-E-I-O-U. Remember the vowels make how many songs? Two songs. The long song and the short song. There are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, U. The long song and the short song. The long song says its name. Okay, children? Yes. Now this week, remember last week we talked about, what did we talk about last week? Hmm. We talked about the long A song, not so? Yes, and we learned about a lot of words that has the long A song in its name, such as A, Cake, Jake, Bake. You all remember that story? Yes, now this week we're talking about vowel diagraphs. We're talking about vowel diagraphs. If you look here, if you look here, you can see vowels A, we can see A, I, A, and Y. There are vowels, okay, children? Vowels, okay? And the vowel diagraph is a combination of vowels, okay? That are combined to make a special vowel song. That are combined to make vowel song. For example, in this word, this word is tail. Now we're looking at A, I. A and I, okay? This word is tail. Where can we find A and I? In the middle. It's in the middle. Now let's listen for that special song. Tail. Tail. When we say tail, we are hearing a special vowel song there. And that is the A song. A. T. A. Are you hearing the A song? Yes. Okay, boys and girls. Now this word is snail. Say snail. Snail. Let's listen for that special vowel song in that word snail. S-N-A-I-L. Snail. 
me. Yes, we're here in the A I sound here again. That says A snail. You see A and I? They are they are together. They are standing together. And when we say that word snail, we are hearing one vowel song, and that is the A song. Okay? So when we put those two letters together, when we, when we combine those two letters together, we get a we get a vowel song, and that is a. Let's look at a and y, and let's listen for the vowel song. A and y. This word is p. Say p. A. Yes, we are hearing the a song here again. A p. Okay, so the special of our song we are hearing is A. Here we have another word, may. Say may. May. Mm -hmm. A. The vowel song we are hearing is A. So boys and girls, you see when we put two vowels together, we get a vowel song. We get a vowel song. A. A. I says A. A. Y says A. Okay, children? Yes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to look at some other things that has the AI song. The AI song that says A in its name. So let's look on the screen. Let's look at a what? Chain. Say chain. Yes, that's a chain there. And you see the word? There is A and I here sitting together again. Hmm. Remember, vowel diagrams is a combination of vowels, okay? A combination of two vowels that make a vowel song. So in this word chain, we can see the A and the I. What song are we hearing? We are hearing the A song. Chain, okay? Let's think about another word. Tree. A. You see that? The two vowels, they are sitting together again. And what is that special song we get in that word? A. Okay? A and I, they are sitting together again. Look them there. Yes, boys and girls. Now let's think about another word that has a I song. Hmm. Let's think. A and I. Snail. Say snail. Yes, yeah, snail. Look at that snail. Where is letter A? Letter A is sitting right next to letter I. When we put A and I together, we get the formal song A. Okay? Now we are going to look at some other things that has A and Y in its name. Okay? Let's look at Monday. Say Monday. Yes, that word Monday ends with A and Y. Okay, children? Yes. A is sitting right next to letter Y. Let's think about another word. Say tree. Tree. Look at that tree. Where is letter A? It is sitting right next to letter Y. Okay, children? Let's think about one more thing. Hmm. Play. We all like to play. Where is letter A? Letter A is sitting right next to letter Y. So you see, when two vowels, when we combine two vowels together, we get a spelled vowel song. We get a vowel song. And in this case, we're looking at A, I, and A, Y. Okay, children? So that is it for today. What we're going to do, we're going to read a little rhyme or the vowel diagraphs okay so let's listen to that and then we're going to do look at take a look at our worksheet yes boys and girls so now we are going to listen to a little story on the vowel diagraph a y remember we said that y is considered a vowel if there is a vowel before letter y at the end of a word okay so in some cases y is considered a vowel now the name of this little story is Haley the horse 
Now you have to listen for the long A song, the vowel song, okay? Let's read. Haley horse by the bay. Haley horse likes to play. Haley horse wants to stay. Haley horse nay nay nay. Now if you look carefully at the words in this little story, we can see that letter A is next to letter Y. Okay, in Haley, letter A is next to letter Y in the word B. Then we have play, stay, and nay. Where is letter A and letter Y? They are sitting next to each other. So you see, boys and girls, when we combine two vowels together, that's A and Y, we get a vowel song and in this case the vowel song is the long a song so a y says a a y says a so tomorrow when i ask you what a y says you're going to say a let's read it one more time Haley horse by the bay Haley horse likes to play Haley hers wants to stay. Haley hers nay nay nay. Okay, so that is it for our little story today on the vowel diagraph A and Y. Now, boys and girls, we are looking at words that has a and I in its name. A and I are sitting together. They are sitting together. So we will say the name of each picture and we are going to listen for the vowel song. The first picture is a tail. That's a tail of a monkey deer. Say tail. When we say tail, we are hearing the long A sound. Ale. Tail. T. Ale. So, we know that that word has the long bubble song in its name. The long A song. Let's move on to the other picture. There we can see a snail. Paint. Rain. Claim. Hail. Paid, wait, train, drain, daisy, and mail. If you look carefully at those words, letter A and letter I are sitting together. They are sitting together. And remember, Letter A and letter I, they are vowels. When we put those two vowels together, we get a vowel sound. We get a vowel sound. In this case, the special vowel song that we hear in these words is, yes, A. And if you look carefully, letter A and letter I, they are highlighted there. So you cannot miss it. Tail, snail, rain, and all of those words. Okay, children, so tomorrow you're going to tell me some things that has the A, I song in its name. Sorry. The long A song in its name. Okay, that has A, I in its name and the long A song in its name. Okay? So that is it for phonics today. Now we are going to take a look at our... Literacy worksheet. Yes, children. So let's take a look at the literacy worksheet. Seven page one, day one. It says letter A says A in a snail, hay, cake, and acorn. Color the snail. So there you see the snail, you're going to color it neatly on your worksheet. The second instruction says, color the pictures with the A sound. Let's say the names of each picture. There we can see a cake, 
green butterfly and what is that yes, and the other picture is a stock of hay h-a-y hay remember y is considered a vowel when there is a vowel before the y at the end of a word okay and then in this case hay y is considered a vowel in the case of tray y is considered a vowel because there is a vowel before the y okay and where is that your y y is at the end of a word okay boys and girls yes so sometimes y is considered a vowel okay yes so that is what we're going to do today it says color the pictures with the a sound cake when we say cake we hear in the a sound cake then you have rain and hay. Okay, color the pictures with the A song. So you're going to color the pictures with the A song that has the A song only in its name. And remember to write your, your name neatly and do your coloring neatly. So that is it for, like, for phonics this morning. It's large group time. It's large group time. Time. Everybody everywhere is large group time. What is our team for this term? Our team for this term is community workers and transportation. Who are community workers? Community workers are people who provide us with goods and services. Let's look at the picture. Here we can see the flag of Guyana, the national flag. The golden harrow head and we can see one of our national symbols here also that is the coat of arms okay children now this week our topic is youth week and independence okay yes youth week is observed every year during the month of may now independence we celebrate independence on the 26th of may every year it is a national holiday in our beautiful country, Guyana. Okay, children? Now, do you know when Guyana became an independent country? Yes, Guyana became an independent country on the 26th of May, 1966. That was years ago. On the 26th of May, Guyana became an independent country. Now, do you know what? Before Guyana became an independent country, Guyana was known as British Guyana. And do you know how they used to spell Guyana? Hmm. Let's look at this word. Capital G-U-I-A-N-A. -A. That is how they used to spell Guyana before Guyana became an independent country. Now we are an independent country. Guyana is an independent country. So, this is how we spell Guyana. Capital G-U-Y-A-N-A. -A. You see boys and girls? So, we have our special name Guyana with its special spelling there. Now, before Guyana became an independent country, there was a flag Hmm. I'm going to show you a picture of the flag. Yes, do you know the name of that flag? That is called the Union Jack flag. And years ago, before Guyana became an independent country, that is the flag they used to use back in the days. But now, does our flag mean the Union Jack? No. What is the name of our flag? Let's look at our flag. Yes, that is the golden harrow head. That is the golden harrow head. So you see, after Guyana became an independent country, we now have our own flag. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, and we have our own government to rule our country. So we are an independent country. When did we gain independence? Yes, on May 26, 1966. Okay? So I'm not going to tell you much more.
because I don't want to bore you. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at a picture and then we're going to look at a video on how we celebrate Independence Day in Guyana. Okay boys and girls, so Wednesday is no school because Wednesday is the 26th of May and that is a national holiday in our country. Okay? So let's look, take a look at this picture and then we're going to take a look at this video to understand more about Independence Day in Guyana and the Youth Week. So let's do that. Okay boys and girls, let's look at the, this picture. Now this is a picture of Queen Elizabeth. Before Guyana became an independent country, Queen Elizabeth was the Queen of Guyana. Yes, she used to rule before Guyana became an independent country. Now Guyana is an independent country. So she is no longer ruling. Okay, boys and girls, we have our own government who is in charge of our country, who is ruling our country, who is governing our country. Okay, children? So... I hope that you remember this week that Guyana is an independent country. Yes, boys and girls, so now we are going to look at a video on how we celebrate independence in our beautiful country, Guyana. <music>
It's mathematics time. Everybody, everywhere, it's mathematics time. Our children, we learned a lot about numerals. Now this week, we will, we will be learning about currency. Do you know what that word currency means? Yes, that word currency means money. So this week, we'll be learning about the value of Guyana's money. Okay, children? Yes. Now we'll be looking at the difference between coins and notes. Coins and notes. If you look here, we have two coins here. A $5 coin and a $10 coin there. And here I have a $10 coin. Yes, it is silver. You see that? This is called a $10. It is called a $10. And it's a coin. It's a coin. Then I have a $5 here. This is $5. It's a coin also. Then we have a $1 here. Okay, boys and girls. Now I have some money here also. I have money. Yes. Now these are called notes. These are called notes okay so we have coins coin and we have notes okay now these are guyana's money okay and this also is a national symbol right so now what we're going to do we're going to look at each of these money carefully first we have one hundred dollars this is one hundred dollars you see that one hundred dollars then we have five hundred dollars here you see that five hundred dollars we have fifty dollars we have one thousand dollars this is one thousand dollars and then we have five thousand dollars here and what is the color green okay at our numeracy worksheet for mathematics it says the instruction says oh there is a note to teacher and parent it says provide local currency or money from one coin to five thousand dollars note five thousand dollars note for children to observe. So parents, that is what you have to do at home. You provide the coins and the note and you explain to the child. Okay, we will talk more about that tomorrow in our Zoom class. So in our Zoom class tomorrow, you will have some coins and some notes that we'll be looking at. Okay, children, don't forget. Yes, but today, mommy is going to introduce you to the notes and the coins at home so you can see the actual money, okay? Yes, then it says instruction ask your parents or teacher to show you Guyana's money. Look at the items and price tags. Match items to the money it costs to buy them. So let's look at the worksheet. It says here we have the we have cake. The price for the cake is $10. Then we have the broom. That's $5. A snail is twenty dollars. The truck is fifty dollars, and a mail or an envelope is one dollar. So you look at the coins and the notes there. Yes, the first one is one dollar. Then we have fifty dollars. Then we have ten dollars, five dollars, and twenty dollars. Okay. So you have to look for the value on each of those money. You look at the value on the notes and the coins and then you will be able to match it correctly okay children so that is it for mathematics today remember tomorrow you will have your notes with you if it's twenty dollars five dollars and some coins and you will tell me in our little zoom class how much it is okay so that is it for mathematics today see you all tomorrow goodbye to go